ECI Virtual Ledge Step-by-Step -step Install. In this module, we are going to install the AVE. Before this, we had already set up the basic VMM domain and we checked to make sure that everything was looking good. All right, so now let's go and install the AVE and I'm going to click over here, go to home and then click on Cisco ACI Fabric and I'm going to click on ACI Virtual Edge and it should show me the two hypervisors right there and it says status is not installed so I check both of them and that's the ACI Virtual Edge that I'm going to install and for the port group I'm going to select this one with the IP pool that I created so I hit enter and then I have to put in uh, the data center, the VM password. This is the AVE uh, admin password. So I need to put that in. This is where I define the admin password of the AVE. So you need to make sure to note that and not to forget that. So then I hit install and it will start loading and then installing let it go for just a little bit and then i'm going to put it on pause to finish the install and as you can see it's installing it now you can see it over here also i'm going to pause this for a bit okay it's taken about six minutes it's powering on and the second one still says installing. Let me refresh the screen. And they both say loading. We'll just have to wait a bit more. And both of them are powering on now. Now it should go ahead and get the management IP. It goes down while it's setting up for the first time and then comes back up again and and it got the first IP address over there dot 27 the second one says powering on and that should come up as dot 28 and it just came in it still says down but it's going to go up online in just a few and they are both looking good they both say online so let's go ahead and ping dot 27 and dot 28 to make sure that it's reachable there's dot 28 and there's dot 27 Oops. and they are both reachable let's SSH into them to make sure that our SSH is working on them. Username is admin and password is the one that we set up. And it all looks good. So I can do an IPA and I can see that it has uh, the uh, ENS160, this is the dot 27, and then it has two VM kernels. Uh, these are uh, KNI0 and KNI1. KNI0 is basically the IP address that it got from uh, from the fab from the APIC this is this it got via DHCP and this is where it's going to do all the tunneling from and KNI1 is basically just IPv6 and this is used for state synchronization between the AVEs when they are doing vMotion. Another interesting command is VM command and if you just hit enter, you'll see that there is a lot of things here that you can do. For instance, 
and you can see it shows the UUID, your management uh, IP and the, and the port number. Then you can do vim command show port and it shows you all the LTLs over here and the port ports over there. Then you can do vim command show opflex and this shows you all the opflex related parameters. You see that channel 0 and channel 1 are showing over there. The remote IP, infra VLAN, uh, GIPO addresses, so all those things show over there. Anyway, uh, let's take a quick look at host and clusters over here. And let's go and take a look at this. And let's go ahead and do a edit on that. Just to see where they are connected. And you can see that this is connected to VM network, the first one for management. And then there is the inside and the outside. Let's go take a look at the switches from here again. And there you can see that the inside has 200 to 299. And those are your uh, primary and secondary PV lands. This is basically the promiscuous port for that. And then this one over here is the 3967, which is the infra VLAN. So that concludes the section of installing AVE. In the next module, we are going to do the connection to VMs, uh, to the port groups. We are going to map the EPGs and then connect VMs to the port groups that pop up uh, on, v on, on the ESXIs. And then we'll do ping test and then we'll set up the VM kernels for vMotion. And then we'll do vMotion test and make sure that it works. Last minute addition. Due to people asking for this, we have included section three. In section three, we are going to demonstrate microsegmentation with AVE for both VXLAN-based EPG and VLAN-based EPG. Now, please move on to the next module of this training.